Welcome everyone to this new edition of our holographic podcast or HoloConnect podcast. And today I have a very special guest with me, Delina. She's a NASA engineer. She works also for the Department of Defense uh, with the U.S. Army. Uh, she is a very talented woman, but she's 22. Can you believe that? So, Delina, welcome, and please tell us how did you get there? You, only are, you are only 22. Yes, yes. So I started early uh, working on aircraft, uh, gaining a lot of hands-on trade skill. And then from that, um, going to family camp at Space Camp in Huntsville, I decided to do get exposed to space exploration and rocketry. And from that, I saw the similarities between working on rockets and working on aircraft. And from there, everybody saw my passion for it. Uh, took me in. I started the aerospace technology program and welding. And from that, it just took off into all kinds of opportunities, getting brought my way. Uh, my instructor was like, you know, you're really passionate. You're really interested about all of this. Um, how about working for the Department of Defense and for NASA? And so I took the opportunity and here I am. Well, today you participated in our International Aerospace Program, uh, STEM program. Um, I asked you to be there for 15 minutes. People were ecstatic. They hold you for two hours and there were questions and answers and uh, you arrived at it was scheduled for 8.15 p.m. It's 11 p.m. almost, and people ask you questions and questions as questions. People will be watching this podcast. What can you tell to girls looking for an engineering degree or to be astronauts or to be like, essentially like you? People struggle like, I don't know if I have the potential. What would you say to these people? I would say, and this may sound a little cheesy, but Find your passion and what you're interested, in, whether that's painting, whether that's history, whether that's a trade skill working on airplanes, uh, wanting to fly. Focus on what you're passionate about and do your research and figure out what exactly you want to do. Flying airplanes, if that's working on rockets and work and work so hard on that and network and meet people who are in that industry um, and people will see your passion. And so with that, um, don't feel you need to fit that stereotype of, I have to be good at math and physics, because in today's world, anything is possible. Today, you mentioned something important. You are 22. You haven't completed your degree. Mm -hmm. And you are with the U.S. Department of Defense mm -hmm. and with NASA. And you mentioned something important, networking. You used to be a very introverted woman. Yes. Please tell me how that changed. How, how did you apply that networking or and what advice do you give to these girls and people listening to you? So I've had lots of mentors growing up and my family was my biggest supporter. And the number one thing they told me was, you're only going to grow if you put yourself in uncomfortable situations. You're not gonna grow being and staying in one spot your whole life. So what I did was I put myself out there and I showed that I was passionate and that I wanted it. And so I looked up my local clubs and groups in the area, got involved, and from there people just, it was infectious to see how somebody was so passionate and so interested and wanted to be part of this world, the opportunities just come their way. That's amazing. Uh, it's 11 p.m., mm -hmm. you are alone. I don't want to get you in risk, uh, so I don't want to take a lot of your time, but do you have a final advice for people of your generation or younger people trying to pursue their career or some just something that you want to tell to these people? This is, I would say, work hard on yourself because you never know who's looking up to you. The more you work on the self, the more you're gonna inspire the next generation or the people that are looking up to you. You may not realize that you're being watched oh. throughout your journey, but everything you do will inspire the next person. That's beautiful. And my final question, and it's a common question that mm -hmm. I make every time. Yeah. This is one of the first holographic podcasts. People will be able to replay it using their cell phones or holographic glasses or something. 
people will be watching this in 30 or 50 years from now because this is one of the first. What do you say to that future generation watching this? Maybe your kids or your grandkids watching to this. What do you say to them? What you do now will affect you later on. So the harder you work now, the more you're going to see it pay off in the long run. So your actions are going to pay off. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. And, and thank you for watching. Yeah. And if you can, download the app, Colo Connect, uh, play with this. And thank you for yeah. being here and inspire That's all great. these students for our STEM, the International Aerospace Program, and inspire our watchers and inspire future generations. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. What? I'm